so if we can't angle the camel the camel the camera but uh, this is a one of those innocent devil rooms and if you look there's a strange mace like you know, you know pumpkin like object and the room is covered in pumpkins flying around and candy so if you whack this thing with the pumpkin mace You get the Pumpkin Innocent Devil. And his name is absolutely going to be Banana Split. Hell yeah. And basically, he's a he's the joke Innocent Devil. He has one move, which is called Pose. Which is basically, he just does a pose. Um, he boosts your luck a little bit, I believe. So yeah, we're we're gonna I'll I'll use him for this last little stretch. But the cool thing about him is essentially because we got him, we can now have seven innocent devils. Oh, I also need to take you out. So before we go and actually do any crazy stuff with boss or anything, I'll probably come back and uh, you know teleport to. Julia's shop and put this guy away and get an actual useful instant devil. And he has evolutions! Uh, and all of them are pretty much pumpkin but in a different hat. And he gets no new abilities. So also, about him, he was a secret character in Lament of Innocence. He was like a joke character in that game. So they thought it'd be extra funny if he made a return as an innocent devil in this game, at the end of the game. And I guess it's funny. I just, I don't know. I lo See, like, I like, I like joke characters and stuff like that. Uh, you're talking to a guy who plays usually as Dan in Street Fighter. So, you know, I don't, it's not the joke itself I have a problem with, it's just that, like, there's, this game is just like loaded with it. Like, I like it when it's a one-off thing. Also, fuck, they just one-shotted him. Holy shit. I'm sorry, he should level up pretty fast, theoretically. Fifty gold. Sweet. Man, talk about just getting fucking one shot, huh? Oh, okay. All right, guys, guys. I know you you like work together, but like, don't be such assholes about it. Damn! One shot it again. Poor pumpkin, bro. Just can't catch a break. I'm sorry. He's gonna come back and get one shot it again. Theoretically, on paper. Alright, uh, we're gonna just fuck out out of this room. And not even bother with it. This should be the teleporter. So we can teleport back here if we need to. Uh, to my knowledge, I believe we missed something. Because we're on the seventh floor. And that should be a save room. Up ahead, followed by a boss room. Or maybe not. 
because we should be able to there's a ring that we were supposed to get the medusa ring which lets you resist stone attacks all right let's register Okay. And then 100% complete. All right. Did we get the Medusa ring and I just didn't notice? No? All right, well, first of all, let's go back to Julia's shop. And uh, I'm going to break out my Curse of Darkness guidebook here because I'm confused now. Alright, hold on. Yes, I hear you, pumpkin. I hear you. Let me look at this map. Pumpkin is the devil. Uh, highbrow chair. Oh, you know what? I guess it's in the room with the uh, highbrow chair, but we just didn't pick it up. Okay, that solves that. So, I'm gonna talk to you, Come innocent in. devils. Yeah, take this. Oh, remove. No, I don't wanna. Thanks, as always. I wanna store. Which do you like? Take this guy off my hands, please. Thanks, as uh, let's see. Which do you like? It would probably be worth it best to have another fairy. You took good care oh, I didn't want that one. Which do you uh, like? Thanks, as always. Wait, hold on. I'm all mixed up. Alright, store. Like? Store her. And then I want to see, uh... Let's see, what do you got? Time heal. Do we have any other with magic invis invincibility base or whatever? Which one gives that? Thanks as always. Wait, store. Which do you like? Tiro Misu knows that invincible base. So, always. I'm going to take my other one Which do you like? and we might have to do a little bit of off-screen fighting here but it shouldn't be too long for her to learn it thanks as always yeah, take which do you like uh which one's my pepe is that you yeah coco is the comet star lynn is the tiara i thought i had another one lulu oh okay perfect you know it already you we're taking you Come back again. and there's a reason for that because I want to try. I know you can. Remember when I was like, oh, you gotta use the magic circle for the steel. I want to say you can also maybe get away with it with, uh, uh, what's it, what's it called? Um, Welcome. with invincibility. What can I get you today? Also, uh, I'm gonna store Which do you like? Skull Nightman, we'll and we're gonna take, um, Which do you like? Take Titan with us. Why not? You took good care of it. Come back again. Memorial ticket. Warp to Rast. Registered save point. Yeah. Let's do it, baby. I'm gonna sneak a handful of chips. Mmm. Crunchy. All right. And then what we're also going to do is, uh, we're going to save while we're at it. That way I don't have to do that again. And also, uh, I guess we'll go into battle with Umaro. Why not? Now, if you know your Castlevania, this should be a fairly familiar sight, although because of the closeness of the camera and the 3D, it's hard to truly get the scale of it. But this is basically the big, long red staircase that leads up to uh, the fight with Dracula on, in every game. Alright, are you ready? Let's do it. A 
resurrected the castle. Hector, bravo. You wanted me to regain my powers. Now I see why. I fell right into your plot. After three years of peace, I'd lost my edge. And I've sharpened mine. I've been waiting quite a long time to plot my revenge. Not only did my lord die because of you, you stripped me of my pride, my home. Now I shall make you suffer as I suffered. You shall die a most painful, gruesome death! So yeah, he's got a laser sword too. Yeah, fuck him up, Umaro. <laughs> oh, with the uppercuts and everything. Yeah, Isaac is actually a lot easier this fight. It also helps when you're fucking level 80. You'll also notice he doesn't have his innocent devil with him. Oh, I spoke too soon. Here he comes now. Oh, am I supposed to kill him first? The innocent devils, and then he's like invincible until I dispatch them? I think that's the case. Ow. Ow. Okay, alright. Calm down. Calm down, Isaac. Isaac, I can't beat him up if... Isaac, I can't hit him if you keep doing that. Alright, Umaru, go into guard mode. Ow. Oh, of course they have to give you the most annoying one to fight. It's gonna be an ear one. Ow. Ow. Stop. Uh, give me a moment. Just a moment. That's all I want. Oh my god. I can't hit the fucking thing. Okay. I'm going to bring out my own. Yeah, use force cannon. No, you're not hitting the right thing. You're hitting him. Why are you doing that? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. What is happening? Ow. Ow. Oh my god. I can't fucking hit the thing. Oh, okay. So, Isaac, your shield's over. Thankfully. Fucking beat you up now. Yeah, I know it's not bad. I'm pretty good at this game, theoretically, on paper. Oh yeah, so that's when you steal from him, is when you knock him away like that. Oh, and he's got a Yeti too. That's alright, this guy's gonna be a lot easier to fucking take down. How dare I? How dare you? You're killing mine. Kind of kicking my ass a little bit. I kind of misspoke when I said he's easier this time around. Also, his steel is just a food item. I'd like to maybe get it, but probably not. Alright, he's gonna just flat out kill that and miss it down. And, uh, I'm gonna use a high potion and a regular potion, just for safety's sake. Holy shit. Alright, then I'm going to summon... Uh... I'm summon my mage. Fuck you. So yeah, attention boost lets you do extra damage. Oh, okay, I see how his thing works. Depending on what, uh... 
Or maybe not. I was gonna say, depending on what he's got surrounding him, maybe that's like the damage type you need to hit him with. Yeah, give me another tension boost. Holy shit, Isaac. Calm down. Yeah, it's a tough thing to steal from him. Oh, he's gonna hurt me. Go ahead and take a high potion. Pop a few regular potions. Ow. Die, Isaac! Die! Do not let the curse take hold of you. I'm certain that she would not wish you to pay such a price for your revenge. This murderous impulse. This thirst for bloody vengeance. This is not me. It is the curse. Dracula's curse! Oh, oh, and you would not fall prey to the curse. Praiseworthy indeed. I wonder why. Was your desire for vengeance weak, or was your spirit strong? No matter. Either way, it is well finished. Your efforts have been a great boon to me. The moment you wavered was all I needed. Said. So, you're the one behind all of this? You could say that. You used me to revive Lord Dracula! Even so. Devil Forge Masters alone are suffused in my master's magic. Thus only a Devil Forge Master can be the vessel for his reawakening. I knew you would be the best... material. <laughs> yes, much more so than Isaac. That is why I guided you here. So that you may fully regain your powers. Who are you? However, for Lord Dracula to be reborn in you, the curse had to take hold of you. When you rejected the curse, you proved to be useless. Truly, it is most unfortunate. That weapon! You are none other than death! Soon my master will enter Isaac's body, though you were favored. Isaac will do. Dracula, Dracula will once more walk, walk the night. night. And as for you, it is time for you to die. Spooky. So yeah, Zed was death all along. Okay, so a couple of things. First I want to uh, take out this fairy here. Um, and we want to wail away at him. He's gonna juggle us a little bit, but that's fine. Also, if we really need a heal, we can uh, pay 5,000 and get a full heal. And I think it's free as far as hearts go. I want to check. What am I doing? Ability. Oh, it costs six. That's stupid. Should be free. I'm paying five thousand gold. All right. I don't remember what that move does. Yeah, I don't remember you being this much of a pushover. But we want to get his steel. So I don't want to kill him too quick. Okay, this is the uh, the move. Maybe 
maybe it's not. Okay, that was not the move. Oh, that is the move. Alright, I want to force him to do that again. Because that's the move that you get to steal from him with. Maybe it doesn't show up if you're too close? Ow. Multi hitting sight attack, huh? side push. We're gonna go back and buy stuff anyway, so. Oh, but that should be interesting. Maybe you do need to use Magic Circle. Let me switch to this guy. Do your fucking move so I can steal from you. Ow, god damn it. That hurts. Okay, he's gonna fucking kill this guy too. What the fuck? Okay, just send him back. Alright, I'm not gonna sit there and get fucking beat up by you. So basically, you steal from death, you get an item called Death's Pulse, and you can make his scythe, which honestly isn't that great. Okay, let's, uh, might be too late. I don't think we're going to be able to get this off in time. Nope. Yeah. So I guess if you're, like, right up next to him, it doesn't count, and you can't steal it. And I took him out too early, too late. Yeah, it's we ain't gonna be able to get it. So I'm just gonna kill him. Hold on, one. Okay, so, with him beat, we didn't get the steal, but that's okay. It's really not worth it. We're gonna go back to, uh, the save room here.
Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna teleport to Julia's shop. That way we can restock on potions and all that. Come on in. What can I get you today? Um, our double loto is fine, I suppose. Thank you. Although to be honest, I don't think we really need well, most of them. I think. Nice, as always. What can I get you today? Which I think it just like? would be smarter to put you away. Do it. Take good care of it. And uh, probably ain't gonna well, use you of or you. Well, that take good care Thanks, as always. So let's instead take Which some theories. Like? So we're gonna need them. You took good care of it. You took good care of it. You took good care of it. Come back again. Okay. Oriole ticket. Let's go ahead and save. And let's summon, uh... I guess we'll start off with you. Why not? Oh, what I should have done is I should have sold. You know, we're gonna go back to Julia's shop just for a sec. <clears throat> Bear with me here. Welcome. What can I get you today? All right. What will it be today? Well, first of all, Knight's Fangs, Ancient Memories. We don't need nearly that many. Well, that do. Thank you. Mostly indigo steel. Will that do anything else? Regular steel. Will that do Thank you. What else do we have full on? Red steel. Will that do anything else? We've got memories we can sell. Basically, what I'm do doing is I'm else? making it so that I can at least do a few. 5,000 heals in case I need it. I don't even think I will, but better safe than sorry. Will that do anything else? Will that do anything else? Will that thank you? Will that thank you? Will that do anything else? Will that thank you? Will that do anything else? Will that do anything else? Garmin Seal, Dragon Scale, we'll keep. All the stuff that we're like super low on, we're gonna keep. But. Will that thank you? Will that thank you? Alright, so what? We got enough for three of them? Perfect. Take care. Right, let's save the game one last time. And now this time, I promise we're going to go and fight the final boss. I apologize for that guy's muffler. If you can hear it.
Well, I guess this is actually more similar to uh, the stairs that lead up to Dracula's final battle place. All right, here goes nothing. Born. Why did you betray me? Why did you unleash your hatred upon the humans? When you began slaughtering them indiscriminately, I had no choice but to disobey you! You side against me for the sake of humans! Humans are not worth the air they breathe! I was simply cleansing the world. It is not your place to judge the worth of humans! The powerful always judge the weak. The humans made their judgment of me as well. Thus, I sentenced them to extinction. Sympathy is merely a form of weakness. You betrayed me, Hector. And for that, the punishment is death. I stand ready. I will not flee as I did before! Oh, 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 Dracula, Dracula, let go of me. Oh, okay. Where, where did you go? Alright, I don't quite remember how his fight goes. Oh, we can't, oh, fuck, fuck, get, no, 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 no. I want to send you thrown. Oh, damn it, Dracula. Go away. Ow, oh, fuck. Oh my god, he hits like a truck. I don't remember this at all. I'm going to take out a different fairy. Uh, let's take out you. I'm going to try something. Oh my god, is there no way to get out of that? Is there no way to dodge that? Oh my god. The fucking pinpoint accuracy on that is crazy. Alright, well I'm not gonna waste my time trying to... Um, oh my god, wow, he hits like a truck, dude. I almost wonder if the best strategy here is this. Oh, it only does one damage? No, that's not worth it at all. Alright, let's take out the laser blade. Oh, we fucked up. We couldn't, we didn't time it right. Oh, that heals him every time? Shit. Oh, we used the wrong ability. Ow. Alright, I need a, a big, nice big heal from you. But I also don't want to lose you completely. See what happens. Yeah, hit me with a heal level four. 
All right, stop level buying. Hit me with a heal level four. There we go. That's more like it. Stole tomato juice. We got this under control now. Oh! I might have spoken too soon. Alright. Let's use this. What do we get? Heal him. Oh! Okay. So I guess you do have to like actually number one be able to see what's going on, not sure what's going, what's happening there, and number two, you gotta be able to actually get a jackpot on it. Uh, who's the one with healing field? You? Oh shit! Oh shit! Get up! This is actually a perfect. Put another healing field. Alright, give me one more. Yes, just glitch out for a sec, Dracula. It's fine. <laughs> Why not? Let's do let's get full heal if we can. Alright, one more should do it. Be, let's me take full advantage of it here. Thank you. You useless! You're useless! You let me heal fully, you idiot! Okay, so you know, like most games, he has a second form. This battle is fairly tough, if I remember. Just because he has so much life and he hits hard. But yeah, healing field is really good for this. Ow. Except when it isn't. Do a little time heal on me. Breaks your god. Alright, we're gonna put you away because we need a big heal. Oh, uh, who can I pay? 
I can pay you. Oh, what a fucking cheap move that was. Whoa! Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. That's a move. <laughs> oh, come on. The invincibility didn't work. That's stupid. Yeah, we're gonna pay you. Thank you. Oh, oh, let go of me, let go of me. You're not allowed to do that to me. Come on, take him out, Hector. That's such a tricky move to avoid. Alright. We're doing good. We got this situation under control. So yeah, if you steal from him, you get another one of those vampire bane blood things that we got in the tower. Basically, you can use that to make Dracula's clothes. Which is again, like another dumb joke outfit that doesn't really do too much. So I'm not gonna bother stealing from him. I'm just gonna kill him. Cause fuck him, right? Transformation. Was it not complete? So it would seem. Oh, the curse. My soul may return to the abyss, but the curse will not be lifted. It will fester in the hearts of humans until they obliterate themselves. Have you forgotten? I am a Devil Forge Master. I can turn your curse aside, transform it into something harmless, and so it shall be. Rest in peace. Isaac's madness and Rosalie's death were both caused by the curse. This, then, is the final forge. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Release to me one of the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living! Immaculate being, appear before me now! Ended. I feel I can let go now and die in peace.
peace. You look ghastly. Julia, why did you come here? I thought you might be contemplating something foolish, like letting go. You see through it all, don't you? You've paid your debt, have you not? From this day on, you must live true to your own heart. You are wise indeed, Julia. I cannot fall knowing that you would fall with me. Now that you realize, we must go. Let us depart, quickly. Just use a ticket. <laughs> Is over at last. Even so, I pray this will truly free the people's hearts. Those hearts are yet filled with darkness. The curse has reached deep inside of them. Its mark will not easily vanish. For my brother, only death could erase it. Julia. All the same, people are not such fools. Their hope lies in one another. They shall realize that in time. Scars will fade and be lost to memory. Let us have faith in the morrow. Indeed. Faith in the morrow. Those are fine words. But not for me. As one who travels through time, I see the morrow a bit differently. All the same, the flow of time has stabilized at last. For myself, I think I will go far into the future and see what awaits. There is one great battle yet to be fought. The final battle between Lord Dracula and the humans. Perhaps... They will remember your fight, or perhaps it will start anew. What now, Hector? Where will you go? Well, I have many friends I must conceal from the humans. I suppose I'll seek some hidden place where I can live in peace. No need to search out such a place. I know of one. Pray, lead me there. I am in your debt. All that you may need, you shall find here. If that is fine with you. Well, I suppose... To stay here with you, Julia... Tis not a bad idea. And there you go. That's Castlevania, Curse of Darkness. And if you're wondering what happened to Trevor Belmont, uh, he's okay. They kind of mentioned that, like, Julia saved him at the last minute uh, before you go into Dracula's castle. So, <clears throat> overall, uh, looks like the credits on the bottom are a little fucked up. Probably an emulation issue or whatever. Uh, overall, though, I I think this is probably the best of the 3D Castlevanias. Not that it has <laughs> that much competition. I mean, geez, what Castlevania 64 and Circle, not Circle of the Moon, Curse of the Moon, whatever the fucking one with the where with Cor Cornell, whatever his name is, uh, those really aren't that great. Lament of Innocence is all right. 
Um, but, I mean, what else is there? Fucking Castlevania Judgment? Ugh. Don't even get me started on Castlevania Judgment. And then, uh, then of course there's the Lord of Shadow games. Which, you know, I like Lords of Shadow 1 as a, like, fantasy adventure hack and slash action game. But, I don't consider those good Castlevania games at all, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know what, that's a game that we'll probably play at some point. I have all of them on Steam. We'll probably play those at some point on this channel. Uh, that way we can pretty much look at Lords of Shadow, Lords of Shadow 1, then Mirror of Fate, and then uh, Lords of Shadow 2 and see what the fuck went wrong. Uh, anyway, back to Curse of Darkness. So, best 3D Castlevania for sure. In many ways, it really feels like they wanted to make a 3D Symphony of the Night. Because that's how I would describe this game in terms of like all the different weapons that Hector finds. And, uh, you know, all the varied locations and the Metroidvania style of it all and stuff like that. Um, is it as good as the Metroidvania titles? I don't know. Uh, I think, number one, probably comparing the two is like apples to oranges, you know? But also, uh, there's... I like this game better than some of the Metroidvania titles for sure. Uh, like the one with fucking... What's his name? Alec Baldwin? Hugh Baldwin? What it, the Baldwin Brothers? Whatever the fuck they were? I don't even... I See, that's how much I like that one. That's how much I remember it. I think his name was Hugh Baldwin, the main character. Or was that even the character? Wasn't the character's name Grant? Or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, Curse of Darkness. Fun game. Uh, too, too many joke items in the game, number one, is number one criticism. To the point where, like, they stop being funny and it's just like, well, what the fuck is the point of having all these dumb joke items? And major criticism number two, I would say, is the environments are kind of lackluster. I like the idea of the environments a lot. Like, for instance, I like the idea of the forest in Jigramont. And I like the idea of Garibaldi Temple. And I like the idea of going to all these different locations. And the entire game doesn't take place inside the fucking castle. The only thing is... Uh... Because of PS2 and trying to, you know, save money on assets and stuff. All, all the... All the rooms in all these areas look the same. You know, it... The areas are bland. There's no way around it. It's unfortunate because, you know, a lot of them are kind of cool ideas, but what are you going to do? Whereas if you compare it to a Metroidvania, it almost always seems like each room in a Metroidvania is, like, unique, right? Um, so, yeah, those are my two big criticisms, but other than that, combat system's great. Innocent Devils are a lot of fun, really, in my opinion, uh, when you start leveling them up and... Uh, you know, going through the different evolutions and stuff, and, uh, so yeah. Once you beat the game, you unlock a couple of things. Crazy Mode is unlocked. So at name entry, you enter at crazy to play crazy mode. And what crazy mode is, is it's basically hard mode. Uh, all the enemies have more HP. They do more damage, and your attacks do less damage. You can also play Trevor. Uh, you can, so at name... Uh, entry, you enter at Trevor to play Trevor mode. We might check out Trevor mode, I'm not sure. I haven't decided. And, uh, let's save. And I believe because we got 100%, we should, uh, have also unlocked boss rush mode. So if I go to continue for a sec. Oh, we didn't get 100. 99.90%? What room are we missing? Hold on, we gotta find out now. That's a hundred. 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 Everything's a hundred. Don't tell me it counts the fucking Medusa ring. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. I hope not. Uh, well, I consider it pretty much a hundred. 
Like, we got 100% map completion. Uh, a simple juice with no additives at all. Alright, we're going to teleport to... Well, actually, do we get boss rush mode in... We might not even have it, because we technically didn't get 100%, I guess, but... Uh, Alright, so no, I think it's at the warp. So yeah, if we go to... Uh, where is it? Julia's shop for a sec, just because it's the closest thing to the warp. Oh, there's a warp right outside the fucking... I'm an idiot. There's a warp right outside that room. We're not going to do boss rush mode just yet. We might do it. I'm undecided. Uh, I've been playing Curse of Darkness for, mul for multiple hours now. I want to take a break. But I want to at least see if I even got it. I think we do. That's why it's purple. Yes, okay, so you can do boss rush mode at any of the uh, teleporters, and pretty much what it is is you fight all the bosses in the game one after another. Um, so that's like the last challenge, and once you beat boss rush mode, you unlock music box mode, <laughs> which is essentially in, in the options, you'll be able to do sound test basically and listen to all the different songs in the game. But, uh, we're not gonna do that, at least right now. So, we might come back and do some Trevor mode and some Boss Rush mode and just check it out, I'm not sure. Uh, but for right now, in case we don't, thank you for watching me play Castlevania Curse of Darkness. I hope you had a fun time. Uh, chances are, by the time you're watching this, there's going to be a video on my other YouTube channel about this game in the form of a retrospective that you can go check out if you're interested. Shouldn't be too hard for you to find. I'm probably gonna forget to put a link in the description. But you know how this channel's Pacres Lux too? You just go to regular old Pacres Lux, it'll be there. All right, I guess this is where I sign off. You guys have a pleasant evening or day.